What's up guys, it is that Pentagon. I'm here again with another video and today we're going to be looking at District Showdown and giving our thoughts on it. I mean, there is very limited information to work with, but we will cover what we kind of have here. I think like honestly, developers absolutely suck at explaining how these events work. Um, this event ha has just confused me, like honestly, like this whole time, like there's like the the like how the design is so confusing because you would not expect an event that you can roll dice in to be an alliance based event and it seems that each of your members each get dice to roll so maybe all of you guys you're going to be rolling together to collect alliance funds etc etc but i do not see how the pvp concept is going to fit into this event i really wish that the developers would show a, a video or something i mean like like they did with genesis war they did that so well with genesis war if you had to ask me i think that like that that video was such a hyper it was such a big hype kind of boost and it explained the event pretty well you know it covered all the basics so I don't know why they didn't do that it's really annoying I will say the rewards are actually pretty nice I mean obviously ranking individually first is not going to be easy but I do like the fact that they're kind of pushing some workshop like premium metal etc and that's something like I can I can get behind in an event it does change it up with the uh you know regular rewards that you're used to. Alliance rewards generally suck. I mean, look at this. This, Bro, like, what is this? <laughs> this is the most mid-alliance reward I've ever seen in my life. I don't, like, know if this is actually going to be a heavy PvP event based off how, like, m weird these rewards are, right? Like, even, even looking at the individual rewards, I feel like they're... I don't know, because I, I, I can't, like, measure these right now compared to what we normally would get but i would i would imagine what we normally get is actually better than this and there's more you know and like a package kind of deal i mean obviously like 50 secret survivor folder is pretty nice and stuff but like not many people are going to be getting like this high tier of anything you know so i don't know I, this doesn't feel like it's anything crazy uh individual reward or alliance reward based like i i'm not a really big fan of that but we'll get into the actual event and we'll see if the event's actually any good Okay, so the zombie virus ravages the Federation and even the once luxurious districts are now deserted. Commanders will venture deep into the districts to face unknown challenges, compete for the treasure they hold, and make contributions to the development of their alliances. Okay, um, roll silver dice to explore. You will randomly move one to six spaces after rolling a silver dice. Silver dice are restored over time until you reach a certain limit. So you might get one an hour and the limit might be 10 or something, right? So once you hit 10, you have to sit on that until you start rolling more dice and then you can start going through your, you know, thing again. Um, two, you can also roll gold dice to explore. You can choose to move one to six spaces after rolling a gold dice. So the gold dice lets you choose what like slot you land on. So you might be able to choose alliance funds or you might be able to choose a buff or whatever that case. Um, landing on a tile will trigger an occurrence corresponding to the tile. Each tile grants a fixed amount of personal funds and alliance funds. Personal funds count towards personal rankings, which, you know, is obviously going to be, uh, sorry, these probably individual rewards those are probably going to be personal rankings but that makes you wonder like what about kills are we not getting any kills here like what is the point of like having a ranking of like alliance might and stuff is this not a pvp event I, i'm actually really confused at this point uh so yeah landing on a towel trigger the correspondence da, da, da. okay District buffs. The following buffs may trigger while exploring districts. One, extreme speed. After obtaining extreme speed buff, you will uh, the first time you roll a silver dice uh, to move and trigger an occurrence, you will move an additional two to four tiles, and the trigger uh, the uh, the trigger and trigger the occurrence again. Using a gold dice will not consume your extreme extreme speed buff but will not grant the effect either. This is because, you know, obviously Golden Dice allows you to pick which, like, slot you're landing on, so it would be kind of stupid to, like, forcibly move you two to four slots more, whereas with, like, Silver Dice, it's already, like, a gamble, you know what I mean? So at least you get to move forward more, but is that really going to matter? Like, is there any, does it give you anything for, like, full circling around to, like, a start? Like, if, if you start right here, does it give you anything for, like, me re reaching it again, or are you just, like, trying to, like, basically collect as much as you can? I don't know. Um, da -da -da. double results after obtaining double results buff you will receive double personal funds alliance funds or, or alliance funds the next time you obtain rewards this buff can stack 
So basically, if a normal like tile will give me 100 alliance funds, it'll give me 200 instead. Free supplies. After obtaining free supplies buff, you will immediately receive silver dice. By the way, I don't know if it says it in here. I, I saw it earlier somewhere, but it did mention like all your members are going to be getting dice I'm, I'm, from what I understand. So everybody's going to be kind of competing in this event or everybody's going to be rolling to, you know, get alliance funds and stuff, which... I guess can be fun. I just don't see like the very appealing aspect of this. Like I was expecting some sort of PvP event, and I had already been skeptical when I saw the dice format. But I was like, maybe they're gonna do some crazy implementation that I could never expect. You know, surprise me. But I feel surprised in a sad way. <laughs> Uh, there are street gang members in the district. You will enter a fight when you land on their tile. Defeat gang members to receive random rewards for defeating them. Two, if you fail to defeat the gang members, you can choose to bypass them or request for help. So probably help from your alliance. Gang members will disappear if you bypass them. After requesting for help, all alliance members can help you defeat gang members. You can only request help with one undefeated street gang at a time. What does that mean? Like... Does, does that mean like it has to be, wait, what? It says you can only request help with one undefeated at a time. So like, does it mean like you can't request for multiple? Like, uh, would that even be possible? Is that, are they going to allow, I don't know, man. That's, I'm not even going to get too much into that or I'm going to hurt my brain. Um, four, if you fail to defeat the gang, you will receive personal funds and alliance for it, funds corresponding to the percentage of damage dealt to the gang. Uh, ally allies who help defeat the gang do not receive a any help rewards. The commanders who re the commander who requests the help will obtain their remaining personal funds and alliance funds as well as the vanquish rewards. During the event, you can use items to raid alliance funds from other alliances. Does this include any PvP guys? Like, come on. <laughs> there are time slots for fun raids. R funds cannot can't be raided outside of these time slots. So I'm assuming there's a map or something that you're going to go on to raid each other. Or you're maybe going to be doing a field fight. Like, this does not explain anything at all. Like, this doesn't explain exa anything about how you'd fight. If you have a map or anything. Okay. Well, I, I guess it is what it is. We'll see. We'll see. We just have to wait. Alliance Favor. There are mysterious merchants on the map. Purchasing a mysterious merchant's pack grants one silver dice to every alliance member. Oh no, this is probably going to be a whale thing. Why are they making this pay to win? Please don't make this event pay to win, bro. It's literally supposed to be like... I thought it was supposed to be a PvP event. Like, I'm so confused because they even have like freaking rankings and stuff. They have war zones and everything. Like, is there like going to be minimal PvP? Which is such a boring thing if, the, if that's the case. Okay, district statue, land on or pass through a district statue to gain alliance influence. Alliance members can help uh, to earn alliance influence and unlock alliance achievement rewards. Okay, I mean, whatever. District alley, there are two district alleys on the map. Land on the alley entrance to enter the district alley. The district alley consists of six tiles containing random item rewards. Land on the corresponding tile to receive the rewards. The extreme speed buff does not take effect in the extreme. Okay, well, it's just something you enter and you basically get buffs or whatever. Nothing crazy. Rules, 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 rules. These are stuff we already know, but I'll, I'll run through it for people who don't know. You need, you know, 40 active members in your alliance, all above headquarters 12. You have to be, you know, members that have been logged on for more than three days. Um, when the event starts, the registration period begins. Da, 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 da. Basically, um, 60 alliances are in Apex War Zone, 61 through 240, Elite War Zone, and 241 through 2200 will enter the Fearless War Zone, which is weird because um, I swear this was 2100 in the patch notes. Don't know why they jumped it up 100. Not complaining because, you know, more the merrier, but I don't know. Alliances that do not fulfill. fulfill Either of these requirements will not be able to participate in the event. Okay. Um, I'm not a fan, honestly, guys. Probability display. All the tiles on the supply board have an equal equal chance of triggering random reward probabilities. Common supply box. Da -da -da, basically rewards for each of these. I'm not a fan, dude. The only PvP action I see potentially in this is the fund raid. And it... It literally says that there's time slots for it, which it might be like Genesis War, right? Where you have like um, when, when Genesis War was originally released, or maybe maybe right now they're gonna have one time slot for it. But they say time slot, so maybe it's gonna be something like Pompeii in, in that regard, where you get like 
get a pick between like four time slots or something. But I don't know, man. I'm not a fan of this. Uh, I don't have enough information on how this fun raid works to like know if this will be fun, <laughs> like at all. And I'm super confused because they literally suck at explaining anything. I don't know if this is going to be a map run, if we're just going to like field brawl. I don't know if there, it's going to be some like game mode. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Why can't they explain this stuff better? I mean, what do you guys think this is going to be? I mean, the fact that we're rolling dice and they even mentioned mysterious merchants, which I'm assuming these are actual packs. So you actually have to spend money instead of like spending resources or something for these is what am I? I'm, I'm assuming at the very least kind of like indicates that this might be a more so pay to win favorite event or something, or even if it's just slightly nudging in the like way of being pay to win is kind of annoying i mean even if you're able to fight other alliances for you know funds and you're able to beat these alliances if this alliance is able to just outspin your group and like get as many rolling dice as they want that's rigged to me right like i feel like it's just rigged right um I could be wrong though. It could be resource based on these uh, these like mysterious merchants. I mean, the ones in our bases are, but it like I don't know. Uh, it says purchasing mysterious merchant pack. Hopefully, it's not an actual pack. But I'm assuming they're talking about the what's it called one that normally costs like. Can I can I trigger it right now? No. Okay. Well, it usually costs like a dollar or two or whatever the case in the corner. So I don't know, man. You guys let me know what you guys think, though. I am not super fan-like right now. I am not super happy about this, if I'm going to be honest. I'm very skeptical. <laughs> uh, you guys let me know what you guys think, though. I do appreciate you guys for watching, as always. I am very skeptical about this event. But you guys let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next video. That is about it. And, yeah, peace out.